Could Apple's new multimodal AI, Apple Intelligence, redefine iOS 18? Check out the features that might be coming to your iPhone later this year. Hey everyone, Apple just dropped a new demo of 4M, their latest AI update. It's a multimodal AI, which means it can process text, audio, and video, as well as handle 3D data. I'll put a GitHub link in the description for those who want to check it out. Without further ado, let's take a closer look at this new Apple AI. To kick things off, let me know in the comments if you think Apple's new multimodal AI will revolutionize the way we use our apps. I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so let's keep the conversation going in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this link in your WhatsApp and Telegram groups to keep everyone in the loop about this topic. All right, thanks. Let's continue. First off, 4M stands for Massive Multimodal Modeling System. Since the S wouldn't fit, it was shortened to just 4M. As I mentioned earlier, it can process not only text and images, but also 3D data. For instance, it can create accurate visual representations from text descriptions, which is super helpful for folks in graphic design or marketing. Another cool thing about 4M is how great it is at spotting objects in images or videos. This could be really useful in security applications where you need to quickly and accurately identify activities or anything out of the ordinary. In a nutshell, its ability to efficiently process and respond to visual data makes it a practical tool in various professional settings. Now let's talk about something exciting for all you 3D enthusiasts out there. If you're an architect or a game developer, you can simply describe what you need, and the AI will create and tweak the 3D model accordingly. Of course, knowing a bit about the current capabilities of AI, I think it's fair to say that not everything will be perfect right off the bat. If you're a virtual reality game designer, for instance, 4M can help cut down development time, but you'll still need to make some revisions. What really sets 4M apart is how it combines text, images, audio, and even spatial data into one comprehensive package. This eliminates the need for multiple separate tools and makes working with AI much more straightforward. You can interact with it as if you're chatting with a friend, and it understands your intentions, helping to streamline your workflow. For those asking in the comments about Siri, let's address that. M could definitely enhance Siri's capabilities. Currently, Siri can handle basic commands and answer simple questions, but imagine if with 4M's AI, Siri could effortlessly tackle complex multi-part queries. You could ask to see the most recent photos from your vacation, while also asking for the name of the restaurant where you had dinner, followed by suggestions for similar places nearby. With 4M, Siri wouldn't just show the photos, but would also recall details about the restaurant and recommend other places you might enjoy. This would be a major leap forward in making digital assistance more useful and intuitive. But it's not just Siri that would benefit. Think about creative tools like Final Cut Pro, or Adobe Premiere, video editing is complex work, but 4M could streamline the entire process, and there's more. Apple's spatial computing and augmented reality kit are already pretty impressive, allowing developers to blend digital elements with the real world. With 4M, these experiences could become even more immersive. For instance, when redecorating your living room, you could ask the AI to add a modern sofa, place a coffee table, and change the wall color to light blue, all in real time. It would understand your instructions and make it happen in your augmented reality setup. That's really cool. Hey everyone, you should know that Apple has partnered with the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne to launch the public demo of the A4M model on Hugging Face Spaces. This comes seven months after the model was made freely available, which was a major breakthrough in bringing advanced AI technology to more people. Now, with this public demo, everyone can see what 4M is truly capable of by testing it out themselves. This really sparks curiosity, since Apple usually keeps their cards close to their chest. But this time, 
They're opening up by hosting 4M on Hugging Face, a well-known open source AI hub. The choice of Hugging Face spaces isn't random. If you're not familiar with it, it has a super user-friendly setup and a really vibrant community that's very enthusiastic about artificial intelligence. Putting 4M out there makes it easy for everyone, from hardcore AI enthusiasts to beginners to get their hands on it quickly. But don't be fooled. This isn't just Apple being generous. It's a clever move. By letting developers tinker with the 4M model, Apple is betting on the emergence of new apps and use cases, which could significantly boost the model's impact across various fields like healthcare, finance, entertainment, and education. They want to weave this AI even deeper into our everyday tech use, and it's exciting to imagine where this might lead. Apple's 4M launch couldn't be more intriguing, especially with all the AI buzz right now. While giants like Microsoft and Google have been making headlines with their AI partnerships and innovations, Apple has been moving forward more quietly but steadily. I think this 4M demo is Apple's way of saying they're major players in AI too and the market is definitely taking notice. Since the beginning of May, Apple's stock has risen an impressive 24%, increasing its market value by more than 600 billion. Now Apple is right behind Nvidia as one of the most valuable tech companies. I think it would be helpful to show what Apple says directly from their machine learning research site. Basically, they claim that current machine learning models for vision tasks are often quite rigid, focusing on a single task modality. But what if they could mix things up more? And that's where Apple's 4M comes in, bringing an innovative approach. In this latest study, the team developed a training scheme called 4M, which uses a single encoder-decoder transformer to handle a variety of input and output modalities, including text, images, and even geometric and semantic data. The interesting thing is that it maps everything into discrete tokens and performs multimodal mask modeling on a small random set of these tokens. So what's the big differentiator of 4M? First, it's ready to handle a variety of vision tasks right out of the gate. Moreover, it excels when fine-tuned for new tasks or modalities it hasn't encountered before. And perhaps most impressively, it's also a generative model, meaning you can feed it any type of data and it can generate or edit content based on that input. This functionality is quite mind-blowing. Personally, I'm really excited about the ability to create and edit 3D projects. Folks, after exploring all the incredible capabilities of artificial 4M, in my opinion, it's clear that we're witnessing a revolution in the field of artificial intelligence. The ability to integrate text, images, audio, and spatial data into a single system, plus the capability to generate and edit 3D projects, opens doors to countless applications across various fields. This impacts not just developers, but everyday users as well. It's thrilling to think about the new possibilities that could emerge from this. What do you all think? Which features of 4M caught your attention the most?